All right, so let's just start with how you started with theatre, how you, how you got into playwriting and what were the opportunities, what was the road? Well, I, I used to write um, f fiction when I was a little kid, mm. um, but around the age of 11, my, my parents had to take me to the theatre, and this is in the 70s, and mm. so it was the Nimrod and, and um, Phillips Street Theatre, and I just loved it. I mean, you know, the, the, the Nimrod, which is now the Stables Theatre where Griffin is, you could touch the actors yeah, yeah. if you reached out. And, um, and I remember there was a, a production of Tooth of Crime and Reg Livermore got really sweaty and spun at one point and his sweat just hit me in the <laughs> face. And I thought, oh, I want to do this yeah. when I grow up. Yeah. And it was interesting because I didn't want to be one of the people on the stage. I wanted to be the person who decided what they said. Mm -hmm. And I, and I went home and, and said to my parents, I'd like to be a playwright. And they said, well, then you'll need a typewriter. So they gave me a, a portable typewriter for my 12th birthday no. present. And it's one of those things where looking back on it, I think it was an amazing thing for them to do really, like to take a 12 year old seriously and say, and not laugh at you for saying mm. you want to be a playwright, and in fact, give you the one tool that was available in, in the ancient <laughs> times, which was a typewriter. It was, you know, it was really extraordinary that they did that. Mm. And so I'd bash away and write these plays. With, with the old carbons and so on? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. And, and I would I'd go and see lots of theatre and I loved it all. And this was a time when, when, you know, it was David Williamson and John Romerall and Alex Buzo and Dorothy Hewitt and, you know, and going to see The Chapel Perilous mm. and knowing that you could be a female Australian playwright mm. was, you know, like it was absolutely one of these things on the table that you could be when you grew up. Mm, mm. Um, and I used to borrow copies of currency plays from the Parramatta City Library. And I had this little thing where I used to borrow them repeatedly so that the librarians would think there's a lot of call for these <laughs> and they'd get more. I, I, looking back again, I think they probably realised it was the same little kid, the yeah. same little 13-year-old girl borrowing them all the time. But I, yes, I borrowed all of them. Well, it's a public service you were performing. It, I, that's what I was attempting to do. <laughs> so, so I just used to bash away writing plays. And, and, uh, and when I was 15, I put one of those plays in an envelope with a letter that said, addressed to John Bell. Mm. And it said, Dear Mr. Bell, I am 15. I would like to be a playwright when I grow up. Can you read this play and tell me if I have any talent or if I'm wasting my time completely? Your sincerely, Deborah. And I sent this off, and for six months, nothing happened, mm. which was good training for how the theatre works. Yeah. Well, you know, Tom. <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, and, uh, but then he rang me up, and I went in and had a meeting at, at um, what was now the Belvoir Street site mm -hmm. of Nimrod. And, um, and he was very kind, and, and again, very respectful when you think I was 15, mm. you know. Mm. Um, and just after that, I wrote another play that I submitted to the Australian National Playwrights Conference, which is, did the same, the same sort of work as Playwriting Australia now does. Mm -hmm. and, um, and that was selected for workshopping. Oh, wow. Without them knowing how old I was, which was, um, which was kind of um, satisfying. Yeah. And so um, in my first year of uni, when I was 17, I went to Canberra, and, uh, where I was already at uni. And, um, and so they did these two weeks of workshopping mm. number of plays, and it was, it was kind of mind blowing because there were all these people who had been my idols. Mm. Um, you know, I loved Legend of King O'Malley, and there was Bob Ellis shuffling around drunkenly, yeah. Yeah. propositioning <laughs> everyone. Um, you know, and, and Jackie Weaver was in the cast of my of my play. Wow, at sixteen, it's extraordinary. It's been all downhill from there. <laughs> um, and it was. Um, I don't know that I quite made the most of it. I think I was mm. a little bit overwhelmed. Mm. Um, and that play was sold to ABC Radio. So I made my first professional money at 17. Wow. 